Hail the Arch Villains, welcome to the world famous Arch City Comics. I'm Adam AF. Today I'm going to be reviewing Vestige number one graphic novel from Gat Hanzo and Donald DeLay. What you are looking at in front of you here, this is the Gladius Caesar pack. Comes with two books, uh, this beautiful poster, and a window cling. Uh, so now this um, cling, obviously I haven't used it yet, but it appears to be really high quality. Um, I had talked with Ro a while back about it, and uh, they went with a company who's known for the longevity of their stickers. Uh, I did see yesterday on Twitter that Stu Moran, had uh, he's put his on his car already. I'm going to do that pretty soon. I need to get mine washed first, though, before I go ahead and stick a, a nice decal like this on it. Um, this poster uh, is really great, too. Um, virgin cover. Obviously, you can see that... This is the original image here that Ethan Van Skyver drew for the Vestige cover. They had to augment it a little bit to actually get the logo um, to fit on there. They had to add some sky. Um, if you guys remember the Jawbreakers cover that EVS did for uh, book one of Jawbreakers was the same way. Um, your boy Zach, he, instead of extending it, he just kind of squeezed the, the logo in the corner there, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, but good quality poster here, uh, 11 by 17, uh, nice, thick, thick paper, um, very durable. Can't wait to actually get this up on my wall. So, like I said, you get two copies in this pack, uh, one to read, one to keep in pristine condition. Uh, I got to give uh, props to Gat to, or whoever made the decision for the high quality resealable bags and boards. Um, that's a very nice touch. I like not having to fiddle with tape to get the to get that flap open. So let's get into this book. Um, they did spot UV on the cover. Absolutely stunning work here. Very nice job by Mixum Printing. I know they had some issues with Mixum, but um, to my knowledge, everything was sorted. And I'm still a firm believer in Mixum's product. This is very good. The binding's solid on here. Nice back cover. We've got the War Campaign logo and the CG Only logo. Um, uh, so let's get into this here. So what's Vestige about? Um, essentially, it's about history's relics and the powers that they have. It's a historical fiction book, uh, but it's it's very well done. Um, Gat Hanzo and Steve Dye, the editor supreme, did a fantastic job putting this together. You get 48 pages of story. Um, like I said, this book is high quality. Nice thick stock on the cover. Nice thick stock on the interior pages here. Um, you also got the letters by Somni. Uh, he did an excellent job here, you know, putting his personal touch on it. I love the work that he did in Cyberfrog, and he does not disappoint in Vestige either. Definitely a top-notch job. Art by Donald DeLay. Uh, very, very good artwork here. Um, and colors also by Jason Lewis, uh, who's worked for Marvel and DC. Excellent, excellent job. Um, I think he complimented DeLay's art very well. He, he brought something, I think, a little bit extra to it as well, which was good. Um, it really fits the story. Um, Top-notch job, I think, all around on the art. Um, so here we actually have... Uh, we have Charlie, who's one of the main characters. He he finds one of these relics. Uh, it's a dagger, and Charlie he's he's a he's a down on his luck kind of fella, and I don't think finding the relic did him any favors either. Um, here he is, he's getting his ass kicked out in the alleys. Um, here's a here's a beautiful page here that shows off uh, not just Delay's talents but Jason Lewis. And Somni doing those letters. Um, he's got these see-through bubbles um, with this mysterious woman uh, singing on the pier. She's the one who actually gets Charlie to find this relic. So there's definitely a lot going on with this character. Um, there's a lot of lore within this book. And I absolutely love where Gat's going with this. Like I'm, I'm already salivating for the next book to come out, which... We're not going to have the same artistic team. They've got Pat Maxton, a.k.a. Doodlebags, my man D-Bags, doing the art, but I think he's going to fill in for Donald DeLay quite nicely. 
Um, I don't want to give too much away. This is definitely going to be a, a spoiler free review, but I just wanted to kind of show off like these two pages here are absolutely stunning. Um, these show off some of the, the relics and where they came from. If you ever played Smite, you might recognize uh, quite a few of the characters on here. I'm pretty sure each one is actually a playable character in Smite, which I think is really cool. They're all characters of legend, um, gods in some cases, uh, and it's just it's a really cool concept. I I really love what the guys all put together. I know Gat and Steve put a lot of hard work into this. Uh, Donald as well, obviously he was kind of I think forced by Gat and Steve to kind of uh, change up his style a bit from what we've seen him do in Brutus the Badass and now in Cash Grab, which is definitely a more cartoony style. Um, this is definitely more on the on the sharp side um, of most of it. Uh, let's, like I said, I don't want to give too much away here, so let's flip through a little bit. Uh, there was another here. This was pretty cool. Um, this is this is Maddie. This is actually the the same Maddie here. She's just now she's dressed to impress. She's going to she's the other character that this story follows, and uh, she works for this this group. Um, I don't know if they're called the Archive, but they work for this place called the Archive. This is what you see here is the Archive. And um, she retrieves these relics to be stored here uh, for the safety of all mankind, essentially. So here you see her uh, out of her battle gear. That would be uh, that would be her battle gear right there. Um, it's a very prim and proper lady, or she can look like a very prim and proper lady anyway. She's a really cool character. Um, I I really like the way that she was put together for this. Um, the fact that, uh, you know, they shout out St. Louis a couple times, you know, my man, got to love my hometown. But overall, I think this is a great book. This was well worth the wait. Uh, I know they had some delays uh, getting this book out, but I'm a very, very satisfied customer. Uh, Top-notch job all around from the creative team. Can't wait to get the second uh, book I expect the exact same quality. Um, Gat is definitely a stickler for quality, and his his storytelling is on point. I think him and Steve make a wonderful, wonderful team together. Can't wait to see what else they have in store for us. This book is still available. It's in demand right now. You can uh, click on the link in the description of this video and order yourself a copy of Vestige. It is shipping out. Uh, you should have it relatively soon. There's not any delays. They only have a limited amount of extra copies, though. So if you do want it, I would get your order in quickly before they are all gone. Because once they're gone, this is the last time you'll see this beautiful EVS cover. I will say that the ending of this book is definitely going to make you want more. Gat said, said that there was a big spoiler on the last page of this book. Um... I kind of figured it out, I think, about five pages before the end without trying to figure out. It kind of it hit me like a ton of bricks, and I was like, oh, shit. Um, yeah, back this book. Check it out. Let's get this book up to uh, six figures before they run out of copies. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications so you can stay up to date on all things Arch City. Back Vestige, and we'll see you next time.